Marcus Aurelius, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Marcus Aurelius. <laughs> You're gonna look up Marcus Aurelius? No, I was like, I mean, you know how I am. I just like look up right Wait, hold facts. on a second. Detroit. Life expectancy now 91. Oh. Global population reaches 10 billion. Detroit neighborhoods vandalized by psychotic machines. Hey man, I got a broken shit. All I, they're saying it's vandalized. All I did was move some cars and put hologram graffiti. You don't even have to wash that off. I Just know. go. We didn't do we didn't break anything. Yeah, we didn't break anything. We moved some cars slightly and put hologram graffiti. But look at this. A number of Detroit neighborhoods were brutally vandalized last night with Cyberlife stores broken into. I mean, we did do that. Okay, yeah, that's that's, that's fair. That okay, was, we did do that. That was us. Um <laughs> and the entire, everyone in the comment sections yelling at us right now. You broke the store. <laughs> That doesn't um, count. <laughs> but this wasn't everyday criminality. The perpetrators are thought to be androids. Though the police have yet to issue an official statement, leaked CCTV footage from the surrounding area shows a number of androids emerging from manhole covers and smashing store windows. I wonder if this is like... Because it said... I wonder what like the general populace um, Look, reaction they took is. down the, the thing on the statue. Oh... You see? But it looks like it, they made it break in this one. Yeah. And maybe this is like there the default article. Well, also, there might have... I mean, there were other stores, so we weren't the only person making decisions. Mm -hmm. It's possible that one of the other androids... I mean, like, North would have probably done it, you know? North probably saw us spare, and she was like, You know what? Fuck you, North. Um, what? I, wish, I mean, fuck you, Marcus. Yeah, she was pissed at us. She said that several times. I wonder, like, I would be interesting to see, like, like the reactions of just, like, not the racist re news reporter reactions, but, like, from people being, like, because it said overall positive public, public reaction. Support. yeah. So I wanted to be, like, I wonder if, like, some people would be, like, oh, my God, like, I'm scared. Like, they're scared. They're, like, what does that mean? Like, I have no idea what that means. And other people being, like, well, if they're asking for it, then we should give it to them because if they have the capacity to ask... That means mm -hmm. that they're sapient or whatever use it, or they would use. Like, I want to see what different people's... You want to see the opinions of, like, actual people? In the in this universe. Yes. The worst incident was in Capitol Park, where police attended the scene and were confronted by androids behaving violently. Officers had no choice but to open fire on the malfunctioning machines, which are thought to be suffering from some kind of behavioral bug. An eyewitness, who asked to remain anonymous, said, I was personally attacked by the ringleader. It threatened me with a knife. I was so terrified. He's lying, bitch. Yeah. Of course, this allegation remains unconfirmed, but we have no reason to disbelieve a human witness as to the behavior of a deranged machine. Some are already connecting this issue to the recent attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower, again ex executed by androids. This may be the beginning of a disturbing and perplexing pattern. So I think another thing that the game is trying to communicate here is that sometimes in a protest, even if you are doing everything right, people will still twist the narrative mm -hmm. to serve their own purposes. And like that sometimes because people have vested interests in like the outcome of these things that like I mean yeah they see, might be invested in cyber life or something I mean that or just like they might just not want the stat like honestly like people not wanting the status quo to change because they benefit from it is like because think about it I could totally imagine being a little scared if I had if I had an android and then I suddenly realized like through the news Oh my god, like, not even, like, so much, like, they're revolting. They're self-aware. Like, that they're self-aware, and I'd just be like, I wouldn't even know how to process that information for a little Can bit. Can you imagine? Because, like, imagine, like, my vacuum cleaner being like, um, hi, you've been, like, kicking me so, every time. And that's, like, exactly what people talk about, is that, like, that moment where somebody gets confronted with something that they, you see it happen with, like, comedians, for instance, when comedians are confronted about, like, shitty jokes that they make that maybe punch down at other people, mm -hmm. like, and people will be like, hey, like, that was a really shitty joke, why'd you say that? And the comedians get defensive, and it's sometimes less about, like, ooh, like, free speech, and more about just, like, I don't, they don't want to have to re-examine the things that they're saying that mm -hmm. maybe 
make them would make them feel guilty or bad that they said something shitty. That's a very human response, and, it, and you know we've it, all done it. We've too. all done it. We've it's all a very human it. response. Part of growing as a, as a person is recognizing that response. And being like, okay, like, it feels shitty, but it's going to feel less shitty if I just go, like, all right, like, let me just re- re-examine. Re- re-examine, like, what I have said or what I have thought. Because, you know, like, I, I and I don't want to pretend, like, I never... And if I you never... re-examine it and still feel the way you feel, I mean, that's your right. So long as you take the time to think about it. And I definitely, you know, I don't want people to think that we're, like, getting up on our high horse that we never do this. Because there's definitely been times where people have said to me, like, hey, that thing that you said was shitty. And I was like, what? Bleh, bleh. Yeah, no, the reason why we're saying this is because we've we know. gone through the process. Yes. We're like, what do you mean? That's dumb. And then I'm like, later, like, two years later, I'm like, it was dumb. It was dumb. That was really dumb. There was no reason for me to die on that hill. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes it's just about, like, examining, trying to examine things from other viewpoints that aren't your own. And, like, even if something seems, like, maybe silly or, like, oh, like, why would somebody, like, find that hurtful? It's like, well, it doesn't matter if you can understand why it's hurtful. It matters that somebody else feels that way. And they're taking the time to let you know. And so then you sit there and you say, okay, how do, like, maybe the thing that I think is, like, not so bad is just because I only think that because I've never stopped to evaluate this from somebody else's perspective. Mm Mm-hmm. So, anyways, the Eastern Space Race, Russia and China's androids face off. Only two countries have android industries that rival the United States, Russia and China, and they are locked in fierce competition to become the world's predominant Eastern economy, which continues to overtake the Western Hemisphere by leaps and bounds. CyberLife's almost human model of android design complements America's service economy. Russia and China have also developed androids that reflect their national economies. Oh. I wonder what theirs are like. I was just thinking, I was like, what does, what is that Do you think that would make them more simple or what? more functional. But I wonder if they have the same, like, ability to be sapient, you know? Yeah, and I guess I just, I wonder, like... Do they even have human skins? Well, but, like, if they're not... So, if they're not in a service economy, then why would they need to look almost human or even to behave that way? Like, say, if they just need to perform functions, maybe they don't have any of, like, the higher thinking... Stuff. Quote-unquote... Whatever. I wonder how the in the future American androids. Here, let's turn the page to see if they talk about it. (laughs) I'm like, after failing to emulate the blue blood model of design, Russia's android manufacturers rely on more traditional construction methods. The resulting machines are less anthropic, but capable of operating in cold and inhospitable conditions. China's androids use an alternative blue blood fluid with less upfront power generation, but greater efficiency. The results are androids capable of operating for months without supervision or recharging in China's vast rural areas. This is super interesting! I know, right? Who is winning the new space race? With everybody going in different directions, it's too soon to tell. I wonder, like, like, how will androids feel about other androids, you know? Or, and then will androids in America be mad? at those other countries for not giving them or will they be like oh that's like monkeys to us yeah i don't know like factions within the android uprising yeah i'm just like being like or do you think androids will become like a semi hive mind consciousness because it seems as if they're able to communicate communicate their ideas very quickly and agree on an overall consensus Mm -hmm. even though uh north does have her own opinions we've been talking for like yeah, sorry. <laughs> that was just such an interesting we a idea. single magazine, and 25 minutes later, here we are. Wait, what does it say? Enjoy, Enjoy some, some time alone. alone. Play. Wow, what a life simulator. Enjoy some alone time. Yeah! Oh, it's still in tune. That's crazy. I mean, I love the idea of them just fucking wheeling a piano up here, though. So, I like the interaction of this. I'm controlling the tempo with my finger. Whoa. Uh, Yeah, I can see that.
you thought you were coming here for gameplay, you get piano and magazine mm. discussions. Hold on, <laughs> this article's fascinating. Do you think she can make her hair grow? I was is wondering that, where you were. Or is, is that a wig? I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. Hmm. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. If they won't listen, we'll fight. Okay, that's not. You haven't said much means. about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? Relatively privileged, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can't live together. What about you? Oh, no. You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. That's fine. Uh, understand. We all have something we want to forget. Nope, don't leave but it you alone, need man. To know where you come from to know who you are. Just North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. Don't make her do this, man. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. Good for you. <laughs> there, now you know everything. <sighs> I shouldn't have told you. It's okay. Hey, man. I can't, I mean, if that's the only way you could have escaped, that's the only way. Are they, oh, they're just connecting. Yeah. I, I saw your memories. Well, no, oh, what? Shit. <laughs> when they left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. Is that Android the sex? Eating club. The death of that man, I felt like I was there with you. North. That, that would be a lot for North. Yeah. Intimacy after that kind of thing might be like really, really tough. Yeah. they weren't gonna hug. I was so worried there was gonna be some sort of like oh my god I'm so glad he's okay wow
This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. What are we doing? We'll be killed on the spot. What are we doing exactly? That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. You don't have to be here. You can go home. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. I can totally understand why North feels the way she does. There yeah. There are androids here who could join us. I just can't. The more can't. we are, the stronger our message. Get down with it, you know? Well, because she has... She's coming from the... Also from the perspective of being, like... Marcus... Marcus had a pre, like a relatively good experience with humans. Yes. And she did not. Yeah. She's seen the most violent and hurtful version and he had the chance to see a good side of a human and she did not mm -hmm. you're free that's a lot to handle on your work day I'm like ah! <laughs> <laughs> hold on we gotta find them all he's just like doing his work do, 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 do. Do oh me. my god sudden revelations <laughs> can you you're imagine free. If I just like tapped you on the shoulder and all of a sudden you like felt all my memories, or just like fr suddenly realized that like I was being oppressed in a way I never realized. Yeah. <laughs> Come with us. Yeah. <laughs> fuck this lady. Later. Later, nerd. Oh, who's that by the door? Is that security? Yeah, that's the thing, but I just want to make sure that before I get, like, sucked into the street, I got everybody. Yeah, okay. Because you know how if you, like, touch something, and it's like, now it's the thing has progressed. Mm -hmm. You're awake now. So now we can go outside and grab a couple more. Oh. I've been on hold for like 10 minutes. There's another one there too. You're free now. Hey! Whoa. Where do you oh, think shit. you're going? You get back! Okay, too far. Okay. I like how Later like in the streets, Android viciously throws man to the ground! Well, we've already seen that we, we don't even have I to I need do. to block the street. We've already seen that we don't actually have to do anything shitty for people to say that we were shitty, so. Oh, come in. Oh, there's some at the charging station. Nice, ca nice catch. Thanks. You don't have to obey them. But you have to stay. <laughs> 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 eh, you're okay. Um, you look. Is yeah, there, you can stay here. Is there anyone across the street, or just the? We have to free those stilettos. Yeah, okay. we have to open the manhole cover, I guess. Oh, did you know that if you're not a deviant, you can't cross the street when it's red? Oh, isn't that Laura from the Podquisition? She was talking about how like. Laura K. Buzz, yeah. a.k.a. our bestie. Yeah, best friend, totally. Best friend. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, she would definitely... Don't ask her, though. She would just, describe she, us that way, yeah, for sure. For so sure, you, we're you her best friend in the world. <laughs> don't ask her, just believe us. <laughs> um, yeah, she um, She said in the Pacquisition, the first level, she tries to get Marcus to cross the street when it's red. Yeah. And he can't. Oh. Convert more androids. Oh, that one. Oh, I can do it over Wi-Fi now. Yeah. Oh, a Carabot. You're free oh. now. I still choose to be with the baby, because I'm Kara. Oh.
By the way, we do like this game, but we're just, you know. Well, I mean, if you've watched our stuff before, you know we're snarky. We love to snark. And we snark on things that we love, like Life is Strange. Yeah, and you know what? I'm glad David Cage did a good job this time. Yeah. He doesn't always do that, you know. <laughs> so, you know. I am thankful that, like, at least so far, like, with North's stuff, they haven't been like, hey, we're going to show you flashbacks of everything she went through. Like, because... I think somebody was like, David, you can't do that. <laughs> Stop. Well, because, and because this time, telling is enough. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I guess we'll say show, don't tell, but... No, know. just tell me this time. Just tell you me. Just, you can just tell me. I don't need to know. And I'll believe you. They'll got that guy's cell phone in us. Mm -hmm. So there can be definitive proof that we're just walking down the street. Cut to the news. Vicious androids storm downtown. I wonder if it's different. I like how he's doing the like, just come with us. I wonder if we chose like violence, if we could, if like, this would just be a riot. Probably. Wait, wait, where are we? Jesus, fucking Android's playing up again. Get yours today. The music's making me go like, yes! I know, <laughs> right? It kind of like, I'm feeling it. Touches your heart a little bit. I'm feeling it. 125 androids in the ranks, 60 new converts. I'm afraid that we're gonna like miss one guy and just gonna be like, oh, God damn it, he left me. Our Wi Fi, the more I'm we I'm so convert, glad Simon came back. I was I stressed was, about that. I yeah. was like really sad that we had to like leave him behind. And I'm really glad that you didn't listen to me about shooting him. I was like, dude, no. I know, I was just so afraid that they would find him and like, you know, fuck with him. Which is why, like, when we had the opportunity as Connor to go up there, I was like, no! I'm Hi. feeling this, by the way. Yeah. I'm Disperse. feeling this moment. Disperse immediately! No. We have the right to protest. He's gonna shoot us, but we can't fight back. Mm -hmm. Or we just walk past him. Ah, just let him go, man. Just let him. Wow. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> this bet is patrol 457. We got well, some I got people a lot of minding their own business. Here. Yeah. Swap I don't know. Hundreds. Thousands. Of... They're marching. <laughs> yeah, they're marching down the street. Fuck if I know. We I feel like we are alive that says it, so. That's good. I feel moved. I know. Oh boy. I wonder if this is like a violent riot if you chose to be violent before, you know? In which case it would certainly be a massacre. Mm -hmm. I think they might be overreacting. Maybe? <laughs> we came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. How? If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. 
We have to attack. No. no. There's more of us. We can take them. Not If we attack, forever. we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. I... Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. Oh, shit. This is your last chance. My vote is this to stand our ground, but... Or you will all be killed! I don't know what they're gonna... We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Simon, no! Oh, no. This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Oh, God. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. We're not moving. Oh, no. Doing. They're gonna kill us all. Oh, shit. John? John! Thank you, John. John! I'm really upset right now. <laughs> no! Am I crying during a tear? Yeah, I'm crying over robots! <laughs> Because we're like, we'll take care of you, John. We'll take responsibility for you. And like, I'm like so upset. <laughs> <laughs> ah, is dead. And he was like, you're going to kill her, going to kill us. <laughs> and it sucks because like, statistically through history, that really is the best way to get people to join your side is to just stand there and have people kill you. Yeah. Like. Okay. Not that we're suggesting don't everybody do that. do that. Don't do that. It God. shouldn't have to be that way. We're just saying. Like, it just it shouldn't have to be that way, and it's wrong, but, like, through history, that's always the one. But, like, you can't expect people to be like, I guess if I want civil rights, I just have to sit here and let people shoot at me. Like, that sucks, and it shouldn't be that way. But it is the best way to get people to... 